The Power Prism of Pandora Paragon, Part Two. When we last left, Pen when we last left, Pandora has used controls on her sleep module to open the doors to her cave, allowing the head of the Kumara Marauders, Pixie, and two of his henchmen to enter. How's it going, Noni? Aren't you happy to see me? Oh, hey, Big Z. Was that you trying to get in? I didn't see you there. Where's the gold you owe me, Noni? Oh, you see, I can explain. See, what happened was... I you can explain all you want when I have your head stuffed and mounted on my wall as a trophy. See, Pandora, I told you they're going to kill me. Then I suggest you get down. What? Well now, who have we here? Noni, down. Noni ducks, just as Pandora makes a few keystrokes on her device. A bright light emanates from the castle, and when it hits Big Z and his men, they instantly pass out. The light fades, and Pandora runs to the entrance of the cave, but turns back to Noni before she enters, exits. Noni, are you coming? What? Oh, oh you bet. Then let's get a move on. Uh, are they dead? No, just stunned. They will come out of it in a few minutes. I'm guessing you do not wish to be here when they do. You don't have to say that twice. Where do we go now? Uh, where would you get to uh, supplies? Maybe weapons? Charter an airship. You still travel by airships? I think I know just the place. Then that is where we go now. What about that thing? My sleep capsule? That seems super useful. Can we take it with us? That was the defense system built into the module. It seems to somehow be wired into this cave. We don't have time to remove it, and it's too big to carry. I'm sorry to have to leave it behind. We can't take it with us, but we can't leave it here. This technology is dangerous, and I don't know enough about the world I have woken up in to leave it here. Pandora runs back to the module. Do you have to destroy it? Not completely, no. If I can just do enough damage to render it useless, I may be able to come back and repair it once I have a better grasp on my situation. That's what I'm talking about. Pandora hits a button and there, there is a small explosion from inside the module and the device clearly powers down. Let's get out of here. You got it. Lead the way. Noni and Pandora leave the cave exit the Seconds later, Big Z and his men awaken with a groan. Oh, blast! Noni got away with the help of that woman. The boss isn't going to be pleased. You two, get up! The henchmen, still dazed, begin to pick themselves up off the floor. She used this device to do something to us. Big Z in sleep inspects the sleep module. Oh, it looks like it's been trashed. It could be a powerful weapon for us if we can get it back up and running. I want to get some of our people up here right away to disassemble this thing and bring it back to examine it. Go! As Bixie's henchmen run, rush out of the cave, Bixie takes one good look around. Noni, I'm going to get what's mine, no matter who you think you have found to protect you. Bixie exit the cave with a flourish only a Kamara can achieve. Scene two. As Fixie's people pick the cave clean, we find Pandora Paragon and Noni in a general store. I have known Maud and Jackson practically my whole life. If they can't get something, it isn't available to be had. They are discreet and quite personable. They are smugglers? Jackson and Maud enter from the storeroom. Uh, we prefer procurers of rare items. Noni, dear, who is your blunt friend? Maud, Jackson, this is Pandora. What an unfortunate name. Mm -hmm. The superstitious might think you were related to the Pandora. As far as I can tell, I am. That is not a funny joke. It's not a joke. My name is Pandora and I have been around since the dawn of time itself. I could gut you where you stand, so choose your next words carefully. Hold up, Pandora saved me. Big Z was going to have me stuffed and mounted on a wall, and Pandora got me out of there in one piece. There. I imagine there is some explaining to do. You want an explanation? Fine. Everything you know is wrong. I swear by the gods. Maud, you've got to hear her out. Then spit it out. Noni told me your story of the box. 
but that is not at all what happened. Pandora was not sent as an agent of the gods. She was human and oh so smart. She worked, Prometheus, she worked for Prometheus who had taught her how to harness the technology of the gods. And so she made many advances for humanity. I decided that the thing humans needed above all else was hope. And so I built the power prism, a device which will amplify human emotion. I used the crystalline structure of the prism to refract negative emotions and dissipate them into harmless nothingness, while hope and love and tranquility were amplified and dispersed out to strengthen all of humanity. That is a load of horse manure. Let her finish, dear. The power prism was indeed a success. But when the task was done, I was tired and retreated to my capsule to restore myself. I have only just waked and find my lab gone. My prism is no longer functioning and my legacy has been twisted into a child's horror story. So forgive me if I do not have time to placate every person who questions my motives. Whoa. Are we supposed to believe this? I don't care if you believe me or not. I must find out what happened to my lab and my prism and see if I can restore it to my original intent. If you help me, I may be able to help humanity sooner. If you do not help or actively try to hinder me in some misguided attempt at revenge, you will only hurt yourselves and your people and delay my progress in finding the prism. Pandora did save me. Jackson, what if she's telling the truth? Then she abandoned us when we needed her most. I do not have time to convince you that I did not disappear of my own free will. I must find out what happened to me, my lab, and my prism. What do you need to do that? I need an airship. Uh, we have one that we use for deliveries. Maude, we are not helping her. Now, you know good and well, Jackson St. James, that this airship was mine long before I married you and brought you into the business. So you can stay here and mind the store, or you can help me help this woman. Because if there's change that this power prism can change, what's going on in the world today, I want to find it. You tell them, Maude. Well, when this turns out to be some sort of con, I'll have the satisfaction of saying I told you so when we are stranded without our airship. I will need other provisions if we are to embark. Follow me to the storeroom and I'll get you what you need. As Maud and Pandora exit into the storeroom, Noni slides up to Jackson and so subtly attempts to be covert. Jackson, can you do me a favor? Does it have to do with that imposter in there? Not really. Well, maybe. Well, then maybe I'll do it. Could you not tell Pandora I work for Big Z? Jackson, no need a look. To be continued. 